What is up, ladies and mushroom tips? We are down here for yet another episode of Mail Call. Yeah. And today we got the uh, lovely, illustrious Mahete from uh, the last Mail Call, which is sharper than a uh, Scyther's penis. And uh, if you guys know who Scyther is, you guys know that pecker is mighty sharp. So, look, it's got my finger looking like an ashy asshole. So, um, we're going to be using this guy to cut some uh, good old letters and boxes open today. I, I love this blade. I've been... It's fucking... It's pretty dope. I'm, it's, it's pretty quality. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. And then I got my fucking RFID blocking ridged backpack here that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use as my storage container for my letters and stuff. Because as always, like I say, I keep everything that I open on here and I'm gonna keep it forever until the day that I die. And then even after I die, I'm probably gonna have it all thrown over me and then buried in it. So uh, yeah, so if you guys send me anything, just know that one day it's gonna be poured on me in a grave and I'm gonna be buried with it. So yeah hold on that was a raspy one let me catch my breath here we go are we ready let's get a good one yeah so you gotta carry out that baritone part you can't just have the e you gotta carry it out with the yeah see there's those there's those really low notes at the end but don't do that in someone's face with bad breath First, we got one from a Cryptos. Yeah, we got some Cryptos action here. Hey man, big fan. I met you at SCMM and you were way cooler than I expected. You were one of the first motovloggers that I watched and you helped me inspire to start vlogging. I wanted to send you my decal. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Peace and love, Cryptos. Cryptos, I love you, my brother. Fucking short and sweet. I appreciate it and uh yeah man everybody i've met at scmm every scmm that i've ever been to uh it's been literally a life-changing experience all the people i've met and friends i've gained from it so uh much love to you cryptos and thank you even for coming to scmm man next we got one without a uh name on it but it has a canada stamp all this is tight moto zal damn it looks like invader zim is that what that's based off of? I love that, that's dope. Damn, you look a little less. Damn, look at this little less dope letter. What's up, Baker? You dickhead told you I'd be sending you some stickers. Always great videos and a good time blasting fools in the division. Keep up the great work. <laughs> oh shit, dude. I haven't played the division in so long. But, um,. You know what I am going to do? I do want to get Division 2 because Division 2 looks pretty dope. I did enjoy the first one for a while until it got all paywally as fuck. Thank you again for sending me the love, bro. Next, we got one from Gingerbeard Man. Baker X Dickhead, Gingerbeard Man here to say, I meant to say, I meant what up. You were the first one of I started watching. It really solidified my need for a motorcycle, so for that, I thank you greatly. I have since started my own channel to which I have sent you a sticker. Do what you want with it. Congrats on upgrading to the ZX-10R, you deserve it. And keep up the good charity work when you can. I know it's tough sometimes, but fans remember the small things done for others. If you're wondering, I ride a Harley Davidson Street 750. Love it, but I can't wait to upgrade again. But bring back the pit bike adventures when you can, and thanks for the awesome videos. They're funny as shit. Check me out if you get a chance. If not, that's cool too. Enjoy the sticker, man. Ginger Beard Man. Hell yeah. You guys can check him out too. And Ginger Beard Man, I appreciate all the love. And like you said, the small things, the small things of even sending me a letter to my P.O. box and, you know, showing love. I feel the exact same way. So I appreciate that, man. We got one here from a Zyler Tsakiris. Baker X Derek. Dang, a doll hair. Let's put this doll hair on the Z6 10R. Oh shit. What's up, Baker X Dick? May Gusta your videos. I'm 16. I can't wait to get a bike. I want to get a R Uno R1 eventually, but for now, I'm on a moped. Do you think a R Uno is too much for a first bike? Yeah. When I do get a bike, I plan to get take a trip to cali uh f 
Oh, California, and to catch some V ropes. Do you think it would be possible to ride from Florida to California on a sports bike? Yeah, dude, I've seen people do it all the time. It's it's gonna be hard on the ass and the body, but uh, it can be done. You rock. Keep doing what you do, doing, and go ahead and take it easy. P.S. It'd be so cool if you could say, "Shut up, Matt. You're 12 and like dick." I don't know if I want to say that, but. Because what did Matt do, man? What did Matt do to you? I need I need to know the intricacies of what Matt did to you to make you want to have him get roasted by somebody that doesn't know him. BBS, sorry about the handwriting. <laughs> oh, you're all good, man. Shit, that means you sat there with your bare dick beater and wrote that, man. So, dude, appreciate you even sending this. But yeah, our, our Uno is too big. An R6 would be perfect, but it takes discipline. But at, at your age, I would even just go for an R3. And, dude, that'd be more, more than fun to ride. You'd see me always riding my Grom. You don't need the most powerful thing out there. Next, we got one from a Brent McKeever. Uh oh, we got some art ropes. BXD Baker X Derek. I started watching your videos. Oh, I started watching your channel when I was deployed. Your videos helped me through the deployment because I had some hard times after watching your videos for a while. I got my first motorcycle, which is a 2012 Harley Davidson 48. I've only had it for three years now and I love it. I've been wanting to add another bike, but at this moment it's kind of hard to do that right now since I live in the barracks. The bike I want to get the, uh, is the 30th anniversary Ninja ZX6R. There are two versions you can get of the bike, but this comes with ABS and the other doesn't. The price difference between them is only a thousand doll hairs. <laughs> Between the military and college, it's kind of hard to work on my YouTube channel, which is still progressing because I'm still working on getting footage to upload. I want my first video to be good. My YouTube name is going to be The Harley Rider. That is all for now, so go ahead and take it easy. SPC McKeever. McKeever, dude, I hope you're doing well to this day, and I hope you got your uh, your bike, and I hope all the channel's going well. Everybody, if you want to check them out, The Harley Rider. Thank you for sending me the uh, handwritten note, though, man. And the art ropes. Now I noticed there was two of them from this gentleman, Rebel Hawk Bros. What's up, Baker Eggs Dick Sack? Your channel easy, one of my favorite channels. My brother 21 and myself 22 always find your terminology be one of the utmost quality of language. And for that, we bust a couple twists and some V ropes and non V ropes and a few yes over here and some oh fuck. <laughs> Focus is over there. My brother and I ride the ammo house. He's got an R6 and me an R1. But when we aren't out riding, making videos of our channel, doing landscaping, yes, the job sucks. But we pass time by building out a few cheers and no fuck is. Just saying those words alone by the one and only Baker X. He up makes me to bust a few nut ropes as I read this letter. I'll, I'll be back. The class is nut busting music inserted here. All right, we're back. As of now, we are looking and investigating Baker X Dickhead official dictionary and documentary where all the five year old wee little dick has given us a few knowledge ropes on their wee little peanut brains the language of bigger dick will be spread throughout the land of all to hear oh man i don't know if that would be good to do and as you show up to the banquet for the singing of the brand new bigger dickhead dictionary and documentary we'll all be wearing tuxedos and belting out only the most professional and classiest of oh fuck yes imaginable p.s when we aren't frying our dicks out in the sun doing landscaping we'll send something we think we'll take your tip, be on the lookout, wrapping this up, hope one day to get to meet up, uh, go to a meetup of one of yours in Cali Simple because we want to be there with you, ride safe man, rebel hawk bros, dude, thank you for the heartfelt letter man, that was really nice of you, <laughs> and it looks like you sent two, so I'm gonna open up the other one, and here's the second letter they sent, oh shit, they sent two, and they sent a rope on this one, Oh shit, if you guys are still watching me, uh, I got both of them, I got both of them. <laughs> but thank you guys again for the nice ass letter, man. Hope you guys are still busting those. Oh fuck yes. Next we got one from Joel Kobos. To Baker X Derek. Wait, is this a letter and a letter? Oh, and doll hair. Damn, I'm gonna have a whole head of doll hairs on my bike. I'm not the best drawer. Dear Big Rays Derek, I've been watching your videos for over a year now. Your videos are the funniest videos. I'm fortunate right now. Should I get a motorcycle or car as my first vehicle? Can you send me an autograph, please? Here's a doll here for the autograph. <laughs> well, since you already sent me a pre-stamped and addressed envelope, 
I think it would be very easy for me to send that to you. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate the love, man. And um, I think you should get a car, though, honestly. Like a nice little car. You know, get used to the road with that. And then go ahead and get a little bike. Or just like a little Grom to fuck around with. Or even a cheap little pit bike just to get the feel of riding a bike and have fun with it. But um, but thank you again. And I'll uh, be sure to get that out to you, buddy. Now this one showed up in this because I'm assuming you got all busted up in the mail system. It's from a ironic rebound. Okay. This is how stupid the mail service is. In that bag behind my letter, there's a fucking check for $3,300 that was supposed to be mailed to somebody from a hospital. And these idiots lost this person's check and put it in my shit. Holy fuck. I hope I can still give that to them and they can cash that. That person's probably fucking fraternizing over that. And then they do this to his letter. Wow. Ironic rebound. They literally gave me somebody's $3,000 check and then gave me your letter, which was supposed to go to me, with nothing in it. I can't fathom the stupidity of that at all. Well, <laughs> now that now that I'm done trying to wrap my head around how that just happened, we got one from Tattooed R6. Oh man, I feel so bad for that person. That's literally a check from a hospital to somebody for 3000 something dollars. It says it right there, you can see it. And somebody at the mail service put that in the baggie with my mail. What an idiot. Holy shit. Ooh. I like that. Sup, BXD fan, subscriber, and fellow motivlogger here. Only been modeling a few months, but your tips video helped me out a bunch. Your videos always make me laugh, and it's cool to see Callie from your perspective since I'm from the middle of bumfuck nowhere, Arkansas, and never been out of that way. It's awesome to see that you were over at Impact Tech. Hopefully that means that you're going to get a dope-ass cage put on. They make some handmade quality shit over there. Going to be ordering a cage from R6 soon. Also, disregard my shit handwriting. I mean, who writes letters anymore? <laughs> Keep up the funny vids, man. If I'm ever out in Cali, it'd be cool to meet one of the chillest dickheads on YouTube. Take it easy. P.S. I threw in a decal for my channel. I know it's not Kelly Green, but it's still a real nice P.S. P.S.S. I thought some slow-mo chia ropes in my first vid because why the fuck not keep inspiring, man. YouTube tattooed R6, Instagram tattooed R6. Man, thank you for the love, my brother. Next, we got one from a John Baluti's Try My Nuts Nut Company. Um, yummy. Farmhouse Kitchen Carolina Reaper Salt. What? Cherry Maple The Reaper Made with Smoke and Ed's Carolina Reaper Holy Mother Oh that's sick A screenshot from when I opened that up That's sick What's up eggs? Any of you jumping into the Wayback Machine? I had painted up a couple of wooden plaques for you in Arson a while back and was floored to see them on your Mail Call Episode 11 video. Now I know how you like being a spicy mushroom tip, so I figured you'd get a kick out of these things. First off, the salt has a nice taste to it. We've tried a few times ourselves. Second, those damn nuts shocked even me, mainly because they seemed to bite back. Thirdly, the beef jerky will because of that video you going your way to get some figured... I'd save you a trip. Since my last letter, I finally got back on two wheels and I've been having a blast. You really need to get down to the Tennessee one of these days. We do have our shape, our share of you ropes and twisty roads here, like the 13 curves I take back and forth to work every day. Or hell, the tail of the dragon is right down the road. And places like PJ's Church of Speed has sport bike rentals in case you can't get your sexy now green ZX10R down there. Oh. Well, enjoy putting those nuts in your mouth and the salt is banging on anything in my opinion keep the rubber side down i'm glad to see you enjoying making motor vlogs again you seem bummed for a while there maybe you're missing your partners in crime like arson and sub d is all <laughs> pretty much pretty much and i look forward to see you fran riding with you her own bike soon and vlogging with you on that note your mushroom tip 
Yeah, I've been not only bummed from that, um, just YouTube in the whole has been like garbage. Every video I get people saying they don't even get notifications on my videos no more. Kind of just demotivating, but you know, I keep making them as I, as I do and enjoy doing them as I do as well. But dude, it means a lot that you sent this little beautiful care gift, man. Thank you so much for that, dude. Also, a plus note your plaque is still hanging up in my apartment right now a lot of you guys your guys's art is up in my uh on my wall also that little painting of me i have it above my youtube plaque that somebody made um i got a lot of the art so you guys that like go out of your way to make this really nice art for me i literally hang it up in my house so i mean it's pretty beautiful i, I love that stuff next we got one from a super bright leds i'm assuming this is a company sent this Let's see what super bright LEDs got. Are these like plug and play light bulbs or something? Another super bright LEDs box? I appreciate who's sitting this, but I don't know what it's for or what bike it's even for. I'm stupid. Is this for this? No, that's not for that. I got weirdos like bulbs in there. I don't even know how the fuck that works. Oh shit, it might be. Is this for the ZX-10? I'll be tripping if it is. Well, whoever's sending these, thank you guys. Next is from Mr. James here. I'm gonna actually need the machete for this one. There's a lot of tape. New Mexico quality. Red chili potato chips. Wow. I'm gonna be fat from all, after all these snacks. <gasps> Oh, I'm about to chomp this down. Oh my god. Baker X D Rock. Love your channel. Keep up the good work. Enjoy the carne seca and the red chili chips. Red chili cock chips. Oh shit, there's something in here. Oh, I drink coffee every day, baby. That is such a nice mug. Holy shit, it feels nice and hefty too. Dude, this is so nice. Man, thank you for the care package, dude. This is some good, good-looking jerky here, dude. Shit, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody sending me this bomb-ass stuff. I'm gonna have a bunch of junk food in me, it looks like, today. I just want to say, before I close out the video, you guys sending those heartfelt letters and, uh... As nice as you guys are telling me all the stuff about, you know, loving the channel and all the nice words you guys say, really, really means a lot to you, boy. So, um, I really appreciate you guys reaching out to me and sending me letters and stuff. It, it really fucking means a lot. And, like, even taking the time to send stuff like this, this is a fucking amazing right here. I love the mug. I'll, I mean, you're gonna for sure see me drinking coffee, coffee out of that. Um, if any of you guys would like to take part in a future mail call video, feel free to send something here to this address. Um, I'll be sure to uh, add it in a future mail call. And as always, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a a real good day. I'll see you guys later.